Hey folks, JD here, and today we've got something new. This is the Jingda Toys JD20S, and it is the new and updated version of the original JD20. We have four brushed motors, we have a swivel camera to the front, we have LEDs literally everywhere on this thing. It stands out very, very brightly indeed. You have an SD card where you can put in to obviously record your videos, take your photos. You have, hopefully with this, the manufacturer is saying that you can have 16 to 18 minutes of battery life. Well, there's only one way to test that. And here it is. Same body, same styling, slightly different different tweaks, huge batteries, 1800 milliamp hour batteries. Um, so yeah, all in all, this is looking pretty sweet. I just hope it delivers. So, with this folks, let's take her up. Okay, so first things first, let's get these propeller arms pulled out. Let's grab the batteries. That would help with this. So yeah, great big 100, 1800, uh, great big 1800 milliamp hour batteries. Um, right, let's whack one of these in. Let's keep the other one here. Let's pull out. And let's pop in our camera into the bottom here. Now as I said in the unboxing, these... Antennas on the top of the transmitter are fake, as you often find with these sort of knockoff DJI sty style transmitters. Um, but it doesn't mean that they're not good. Come on, oh, that button is so difficult to push down. Uh, <laughs> but um, what you find, there we are, single one up and one down to bind, it looks like. What you find is. Um, I can't remember what I was going to say now. Antennas are up. I can't remember what I was going to say, but <laughs> essentially, there we are, we connected via Wi-Fi as well. Let's open up the new app. The new app is YHFPV. So, once we've opened up this, click play. There we go. We have our camera straight away under there. Let's start the recording. Okay, so for the second, let's take her up as she is. Let's see if we can find the gyro calibration. I'm thinking that both ways is going to start the motors. Yeah. So let's knock those off. Yeah, there we go. That's got them. Both inward. No. Well, that's weird. Ah, yes, both inward. There we go. They just flashed. Beautiful. All right, then, folks. With that, let's click down the left analog stick and let's take her up. All right, and there she is. She's up. Now we are going to use a bit of trim just to level her off a bit. Because she is moving a little bit over to the left there. Oh, these flies are back. Great. Well, there we go. There we have it. We have a little GD20S up in the air and it still needs a little bit of trim just to level off a little bit. There we are, that looks to have got it. Right then, let's see what this is like. Sounds exactly the same, so I'm guessing they're using the same motors. Obviously I will double check that. Ooh, this. Okay. I remember the turning of the JD20 being very, very slow. Those white LEDs at the front, good God, they're bright. And those rest of those LEDs, the blues and the greens, they really stand out. I mean, look how bright those LEDs are. Okay, LEDs sole purpose is to be bright, is to use, is, is to have power efficiency, is to just literally be a lot better than bulb. But I'm always astounded at just how quite bright these LEDs are. Okay, the motors aren't screaming. They sound really nice. They sound as if they, they know what they're doing. They're just powered enough. Okay, so far, that's okay. Right then, so let's bring her down a little bit and let's move her over to me. Right then, let's stop her around about here. Let's bring her back a little bit to me. Let's have a little look. Okay, so what we know so far, the LEDs are extremely bright and stand out a mile. The altitude hold is working. It needed a lot of trim to level it off, but that's just to do with because where I fly, it's quite, it's quite uneven. But all in all, that looks really nice. 
Now there are a few things I would have liked to have seen on an updated version of the JD20 that this hasn't got and one of them is optical flow. I would have really have liked to have seen optical flow being attached to this because the time is right for optical flow uh, quadcopters especially optical flow quadcopters that are under 250 grams and that's what we have here a quadcopter under 250 grams without optical flow and I honestly would have really wanted to see that because I think that would have really set this off and it wouldn't have cost that much more to do and it, the price hike wouldn't have been that much bigger than what you were originally paying anyway so I think that would have been quite good right let's try a couple of these features then so let's bring it back to me I want it over somewhere where I can control and where if shit anything goes wrong I can get it back easy right so let's try if I remember correctly flips is this button is it Let's try to take her up a little bit because sometimes quadcopters like to be up a little way. Nope. Oh, that's emergency stop. That was the second and that was the second shoulder button on the right. It's good to know the emergency stop works anyway. Ah, oh, look at this. Exactly as I said in the unboxing, one of the rubber bungs will come off unless you stick them down. And one of them did come off. Not that much of a big deal, but still. Okay, let's take off again. Oh. And this is the problem with flying next to tall bits of grass. Right, I did try to flatten them down as best as I could before I, I did anything. Oh, come on, Mr. Quadcopter. Oop. Okay. Right, you were up. What happened there was I clicked the take off. It couldn't because the, uh, the, the lights were flashing because obviously it detected there was a problem. I pushed up on the left analog stick and then the quadcopter just took off. Right. Speed mode 2, using the left uh, shoulder button, top shoulder button. Okay. Okay. I'm using your and roll for turning. She seems okay. A bit slow though. In turning, perhaps. But she's turning well, and she's turning quite accurately too. I mean, as you can see, she's not sluggish. She's not slow. As I'm turning, as I'm hitting these analog sticks, she is turning, and she is moving, and she is relaying my control. I have got Wi-Fi breakup. These are the, the issues that you run into with Wi-Fi. Little bit right, little bit left. She is nimble. Okay. Speed mode three. Her attack phase shifted a little bit and she dipped a lot more to the ground. She's pointing probably about 40, 45, 50 degrees downwards as she's moving. She has climbed an altitude a little bit. Let's just bring her down slightly. Oh, she is able to move down in speed mode three, which is good. She's not automatically trying to rise up again. She does sound good, those blades are really cutting into the air and she does sound and then back to speed mode one. She, I like that, they were very subtle changes. So this is speed mode one, just to see it all happening together and then speed mode two, she dips a little bit. Okay, I just used yaw to turn then, didn't use roll either. There we are, yaw and roll and she's a little bit quicker but not massively so and then three speeds and she's again, a little bit quicker again, but again, it's not erratic. And then back to speed mode one. I like that, I like that it, it isn't erratic. I like that it, the, the changes, are, changes are subtle. Okay, let's bring her back to me. Let's see if we can figure out these flips, because I don't think I was able to flip the JD20, I don't think. Oh, there we go, flip to the left. Ah, yes, I remember now. It's only left and right flips. It isn't front and back. So if I try front, it doesn't work. If I try back, it doesn't work. Only if I do left and only if I do right. So there we are, two-sided flipping, just left and right, not front and back. Right, okay, well, I think that's good. Let's stop this video recording for now. I've still got my screen recording, should I need to uh, look back at anything. But what I'd like to do now is at least try her on the smartphone and see exactly how far we get on that. Right, because I believe... 
Oh, come on, come on, you. It's quite tricky because my case is, there we are, stopping me from doing that. Right, okay, let's knock off that transmitter. Transmitter is now off. And then we've still got connection, hopefully. Let's turn on the analog sticks. Let's turn on the altitude hold and let's take her up. Right, so she's up. And I always try a few movements first just to see exactly how she reacts because with a lot of quadcopters, they're quite jarring movements on Wi-Fi. I did notice the video break up once or twice with this. Nothing too spectacular, which is why I'm gonna give it a shot like this and see exactly how we go. Right. Okay, now with her on Wi-Fi, I'm gonna try flight plan and see exactly how we go. So let's give it a shot. Yeah, flight plan works. <laughs> Let's land her. That's the battery, I think. Look, certainly looks like that's the battery. But that was flight plan. I'm going to try it a little bit more, just so you can see exactly what is going on. But those lights are certainly flashing. And I don't know if that's because I just landed her, or if it's because... Okay, let's... Or if it's because the battery's low. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cycle her through a little power cycle for the second, just to see if... Because there's a possibility that what we just experienced there was just as a result of me landing her Wi-Fi connected oh these flies man these absolute flies right okay let's uh, let's knock off that okay let's try again and let's see where we go let's turn on analog sticks oh lights are now solid so yeah it was t t totally looks like to do with the fact that I landed her LEDs fired. There we go. Right, so flight plan. Let's try that again. So, settings, flight plan, forward. 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 Which only works at a diagonal for some reason. If I try forward, it doesn't work. If I go diagonally, it works. But, flight plan does work. Okay, that's something that you don't always see. Doesn't always work. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But, you may be asking to yourself, why aren't I taking it out a little bit further on Wi-Fi? Just simply because I don't want it disconnecting and flying off. There is a 10 second, actually, should we try that? Let's see what happens if you do lose connection. Let's try an automatic, let's try an automatic landing, just moving her directionally for the second. Let's move my tripod, I always forget to do that. Okay, so that's good. That works, that works. Uh, oh, there are a few other things I want to try, actually, with her being on here. I want to try 360 flips. So, let's try 360 flips. Yep, 360 flips on Wi-Fi. Perfect. Again, only directionally left and right. Not, I'm guessing, not forward and back. No, nope, not forward, not back. Just directionally left and right, exactly as you have on the... Um, on the transmitter. There are, however, voice commands. Forward. Forward. Oh, that was, that was voice command. Try again. Forward. Left. Left side. Right side. <laughs> okay, voice commands work as well. Okay, they're not brilliant. Let me show you if you had struggled to see that because I was against the sun. And have a little look from this angle. So, hit the mic. Forward. Left side. Right side. You haven't got to wait for one command to finish. She will just pick up and go from where... Pick up and go from where she detects your voice. That's good. Okay, that's good. I like that. Right, so all in all, that... <laughs> is quite successful it is i honestly this is about as successful as it gets on on wi-fi using an app one more thing i'm going to try a few selfies so let's take a few selfies yes i'd like to access like you to access my videos so i'm holding her just to keep her steady and then There we are, perfect. 
So at least I've got a few in there, even if not all of them come out, I've got maybe one or two. Okay, perfect, let's land her. Let's move her directionally. Right, fine. So that works. Honestly, I've never been more astounded. <laughs> <laughs> that literally it says it's got a feature and the feature works flight plan worked altitude hold worked 360 flips worked so far everything you try works which is good speed modes no problem flips forwards and bars left to right no problem yeah all in all looking quite impressive so let's take her up again Right, so once again, just trim the first time. Could probably use a little bit more trim this time, but still. That's really not bad. There's a little bit of a breeze, but literally not a lot. Okay. This battery life is hanging out pretty well as well. As I've said that, and whenever I always say that, something always happens. I mean, I lost Wi-Fi signal again, so I think this is going to be another thing, whereas it might be a little bit dodgy when it comes to recording video and I'm not too far away but at the same time there are a lot of restrictions on making sure that your Wi-Fi signal can get picked up I mean these are purely uh, internal antennas they aren't external on the transmitter Ooh. my phone is sitting underneath the transmitter it'd be better if it was on top you know just just small things just small things but still if I just show you, there we go, so let's just circle around here a bit, circle around here a bit, oh, these flies, man, um, circle around here, see, breaks up a little bit, the quality is passable, it doesn't look as if it's good, I'll put up exactly unedited what it is that, it, uh, what it is, um, that I get as an output, but it is probably going to be like the a lot like the rest of them, it's going to probably be skipping a little bit, it's probably not going to be not going to be great, but the question is, those LEDs are flashing. Let's bring her back in reverse because why the hell not? Yeah, they're flashing. Okay, let's bring her down. Right, let's get out of the way. Let's move her around to here. Let's try landing. One key landing. Oh, and that was just by pushing down the right analog stick. And. Oh, come on, level your level off, level off, level off, off. Perfect. Okay, so there we go. So, verdict on battery one. Honestly, I'm really quite astounded that it's improved as much as it has. Now, the JD20, I'm only going by memory here, so I may get this wrong, but the JD20 was, uh, was less than successful. It was okay as a flyer, I think I said that at the time. Um, it was very slow with turning, but obviously at the time I was flying in a very restricted area, not like here. So, with this, what have we looked at? Well, we've looked at this flight, looked at this camera, seen its LEDs from a distance, we've seen all three speed modes, we've seen him 360 flip left and right only not forward and back we've seen him on the smartphone we've seen him recording um video we've seen him taking photos we've literally well we've seen flight plan we've seen 360 on the smartphone we've seen voice activated uh movements all in all we've seen a hell of a lot with this guy and every single thing i tried worked do you know how astounding that is and how absolutely shocked that that is the case? Because normally you get one thing that doesn't work or you get one thing that is a little bit dodgy or one thing that's a little bit wrong and I say, oh well, do you know what folks, that didn't work but the flight was good. This just worked and it, it, I find that quite astounding, I really do. I was honestly expecting to hit something, oh that doesn't work, but no it does. Things I haven't tried are return to home in headless mode like usual. Maybe in the second part I'll try a bit of headless mode and see how I get on with that. But there we are folks, I hope you've enjoyed. So far this has been very very good and yeah I'm quite astounded actually. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be, I wanted to find fault with it just simply because I didn't think it was going to be that much of an upgrade. That battery life is really good as well. 
and that transmitter it's the same old transmitter we've seen with hundreds of different different quadcopters over the years it's nothing special but it just works but i just wish they would start to put little antenna cables running through these antennas on the outside because having fake antennas just it serves no purpose at all but all in all so far i'm very impressed so there we are folks i hope you've enjoyed thank you ever so much for watching and listening i've been jd you've been fantastic as always if you haven't already please like and subscribe hello and welcome to all the new subscribers i hope you're enjoying the channel so until next time my friends happy flying